you and I talked earlier today, and you said, I, with the Kyle Busch comment, you said, I really don't care what Kyle thinks. We saw you after you got out of your car. You went over to chat with him. A change of heart, perhaps, or did you feel like you needed to say something? Nah, not really a change of heart. I just told him why I didn't reach out. Uh, I felt like he ran his mouth enough um, on his radio and then after the race that uh, I didn't really have anything to say to him. And, uh, you know, I honestly feel like, you know, that I would normally do reach out to people uh, when I make mistakes. And, and I clearly made a mistake. But, uh, you know, with him running his mouth, I just felt like I don't really need to call him. So I just let him know that. I told him that, uh, you know, I was like, hey, you're right. You do run a lot further up front. But. I was like, pick and choose your battles wisely because, you know, you will have to deal with me sometime whether you're lapping me or we get our cars better and we're up there racing with you. So uh, I told him if you want to keep running his mouth, uh, he'd come over and do it around me and, and I'll stop it for me, uh, for myself. So. From your end, is it over? Uh, yeah, I mean, I'm fine. Um, but if he wants to keep running his mouth, he can come over and do it to me. There you go. Some obviously strong words from Ricky Stenhouse after Kyle Busch's strong words earlier today, Dale. To do. Holy moly. <laughs> And you thought Man. he just was asking for his phone number.